Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna create this lovely and friendly creature from the King Kong 2005 movie. Yeah, the Carnictis. Uh, these creatures are probably the most horrifying thing you will ever encounter in any fiction and that's why I have decided to sculpt this guy after watching the uh, sculpt these guys after watching the marathon of Godzilla and King Kong related movies and from the 2005 movie you can see these creatures crawling in the swamps uh, in this huge crack on the earth and yeah that's the basic base I have decided to start my building process it's going to be a simple cap of ice cream of course and yet again you are going to need a lot of material the uh, spare clay to fill it up to make it rigid at the same time to uh, prepare the base for the swamp surface so the good thing about the swamp surface is that you don't really need to have that that clean and crisp look of it it only needs to be darker and more or less plain and of course you will also have to situate one or two bulges replicating and showcasing this ah oh, damn darker outer layer of these skies Oof. Um, and I have decided to have three of them laying around in the swamp areas and two of them raised above with their mouth uh, slash head slash tentacles slash teeth and other crazy things showing. So creating the bulge is quite easy. You will have to use this kind of darkish clay and make it oval in shape and then flatten it at the one side. Make sure that the proportions of its thickness and at the same time the imaginary thickness as how wide it goes down into the swamp is protected for you. Once you're done with the bulges you can place them onto the swamp and later on and go and plane everything up and smooth the surface quite neatly and nicely. Right now we will have to create two bodies for emerging uh, creatures, yeah, and for that we will still yet again need to use the similar colored clay, but right now using the thumb you will need to create this hole uh, in order for the neck of the creature to fit in. And talking about the neck, we unfortunately for this case need to use this pink color more or less uh, in order to in order to replicate the uh, look of the creature from the movie and at the same time later on once you're done creating the shape of the neck we will also need to use some kind of dirty looking clay and coat it up with that in order to replicate more realistic look of it as if the smooth neck is uh, partially covered up with this uh, stinky swampy material so to say i don't really know what that what to call that i don't really know what you want your uh model to look like i have decided my creatures to have separate and different looks the one is going to be like uh, with only just emerging with closed mouth with teeth looking each other so to say and the larger one, or maybe a more expanded expressive one, yeah, is going to have a longer neck showing, of course, and the mouth of it is going to be open as well with the tooth teeth uh, like facing all the other directions. And for the hair parts I have got these guys from an uh, old brush, just chop, cut uh, extra bits of it and then cut it in the necessary sizes and put them inside this follicle pieces created by any kind of pointy tool in order to replicate these uh, bumps on the skin. And finally Carnictuses are done. Uh, how to say I'm quite happy with this project if I can be. Uh, to be honest once you're done with your own creature and when you have interacted with it and created all the details of it uh, they will seem a lot less gross than ones presented in the movie. 
Uh, so yeah, it was quite a different project for me and I don't really know how to explain. I just was in the marathon and have decided to create the model of the most horrifying creatures I have ever encountered, hopefully in fiction and not in the real life. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you are not watching this project at night and at the same time if you are not uh, you enjoyed this one as much as i enjoyed creating these guys up and hope that you will also try to do the same have a nice day and see you next time goodbye